Okay, the Gavad by Luli is in Suzuki Volume 3. And uh, in my opinion, the tricky part is uh, close to the beginning, measures 10 and 11. So make sure in measures 10 and 11, you're thinking about the eighth note. You're thinking, counting in eight. Not counting so much in four, but in eight. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. It helps in passages like 10 and 11. There's third position, which we haven't done a lot of. So um, third position is just uh, replacing where your fourth finger is on any string with your first finger. So for instance, um, the first time we go into third position is uh, uh, measure 22. So you're on the A string, and where your fourth finger normally is, that's where your first finger goes. Gavat by Ludi. three lines kind of incorporates the tricky parts in a lot of and lo, lo, most of the song. Um, so if I could start, I'm, I'm going to start in the middle of the top line of the second page, so measure 42, F, C, C, and I'm going over it because of the two measures that I had trouble with, 44 and 45, and the other reason I'm going over it is because of the trill at the end of the song. Now what's hard about that trill is not the trill itself, not the mechanics of the trill, but the counting and trilling at the same time. It's, so I'd encourage you to break it down into a couple elements. Skip the trill and make sure you really understand the counting. One, two, three, four, and one. 